What is going on everybody? How are we doing this morning? Hey, I decided to make a video. Some of you know that uh, I was tested for high cholesterol just a couple weeks ago and yeah, we got dirty dishes in the sink. Uh, that was from light, late last night's dinner. I'm going to do them here as soon as I'm done with this video. There's the lovely Miss Sarah enjoying her coffee. How is it? Honestly, it's gone. It's I gone. Just finished. She just finished. Sad day in coffee. It is a sad day in coffee land. But what I wanted to do was I wanted to talk about how I have been able to lose 11 pounds over the last three weeks. And I'm going to show you and go through my diet and how I've been able to do it. Um, has not been easy exercising I think I've taken four days off in three weeks and three days but it has been beneficial for me I feel better I have had let I have not had one migraine in three and a half three weeks and three days two days whatever it is before this I suffered with migraines on a weekly basis um, but I, I completely changed the diet I'm going to set you up. I'm going to show you some of the things that I use in my workouts and that I use to help my overall health and go through the diet that I have with you. So I'll be right back. Okay, so basically I had to change everything. My LDL was 50 points high. I tested pre-diabetic by 0.1 point, which is not a lot on your A1C, but it's enough that the lower number, 4.3, I believe, is where I wanted to be. Um, a couple things I did. The diet changed immediately. I drink a drink called cachava. Don't know if you can see that. I'm not sure you'll be able to see the ingredients on the back. But this is all natural, all organic. Um, you can get on a subscription is what Sarah and I did. It's around $120 a month sent to your house every month on the same day. And it is a meal replacement. So what I do is I start in the morning with one of these. I take and I eat one banana a day. One banana a day has been clinically proven to drop your cholesterol 17% in 30 days. So one banana a day, that's usually my breakfast. Um, for lunch, <clears throat> it's either a salad with carrots, green pepper, a little bit of pepper, because pepper is extremely good for the heart and the vessels. I also put in um, Italian avocado dressing. It has only one gram of saturated fat, but it's loaded with polyunsaturated and monounsaturated, which are the good fats that help clean your veins out. Um, what else do I put in there? Uh, celery, tomatoes, and, a pinch of cheese. and a, just a pinch of cheese. Okay, cheese is not horrible for you in very small amounts. So I do that, that is my lunch. That's usually around two o'clock for me. Because I'm not working right now, my days are mixed up. And um, the reason I'm not working, I'll, I'll go into that real quick. I own a lawn care business, a lot of you guys know that. We save our money, uh, uh, and I know people don't understand this a lot of times, but we save our money throughout the year. So we have all of our bills, our groceries, everything's paid for throughout the winter time. So that's why I'm able to take this time to work on my, my health. So for dinner, we usually have, it will either be chicken breast or now steak and meat. 
We still eat those. They have to be grass fed. That is the best meat you can get. They have to be grass fed. Um, but a lot of chicken. And we usually have a side of corn or peas or, and peas are extremely good for the heart and the circuit, circulatory system. So a couple things that I added to all that, but that's my typical day of eating. Okay, now my old typical day of eating was three donuts and milk in the morning. Then I would have um, two sandwiches for lunch with cheese, salami, ham, uh, Genoa salami on it with a lot of mustard. And then I would have chips. Then I would have a snack throughout the day, and that could be anything from potato chips to cheese puffs to whatever. And then we would eat dinner, and then I would have a soda and a bag of chips at night. Horrible diet, horrible. So that's how my cholesterol went through the roof, at least for me. So the first thing I started and I added was vitamin D3. That is extremely good for you, helps your immune system. The second thing, I don't like fish. I detest fish unless it's got breading over it and the breading just destroys what benefits you get from the fish. So I got a hold of my buddy, the yard boy, his name's Corey, and he is a representative for Advocare and I, I'm taking Omega Plex, and this has my fish oil in it, which is beneficial in lowering and keeping your cholesterol healthy. A lot of people don't know, but your liver produces all the cholesterol that your body needs for the day. Anything you add to it through the diet is what is clogging the arteries and causing the buildups of plaque in your veins and arteries. Another thing that I just added yesterday is psyllium whole husk. And the doctors on YouTube that I watched, I watched a lot of videos about this. The Yerba Prima is the best kind to get, psyllium whole husk. And what this does, I put that in with my cachava, one tablespoon a day. What it does is it cleanses the bowel but it also sends little things through your veins and they're like little sharp edges and they slice through that plaque that's in your vessels. And in time with a good diet, they will take that plaque away and it's released. So psyllium whole husk is an awesome thing that I added also for my workouts, and this is another thing I got from Advocare, is rehydrate. And rehydrate is like your Gatorade, okay? But with much less sugar. In fact, it's only got six sugars in it. Way less than your Gatorade, has no fats, no cholesterol, and it has vitamins, it has tons of vitamins in it, okay? For the after workout and you want to get those muscles rebuilt, you don't just want to not feed them, Spark is what he suggested. And that has a lot of vitamins, a lot of your amino acids in it. We need zinc. We need lots of zinc. And between these two here we get the zinc we need plus with my cachava. Like I say, I've lost 11 pounds. These products have helped me. And if you think about how many times do you go to the convenience store during the week? How many times do you buy the energy drinks that are completely horrible for your heart and your system and your kidneys and your liver? When you think about all that and you add that up over the course of a month, you've already paid for all this. It's done. You've paid for all of it with your trips to, at least I did, 
Uh, my wife and I added up last year alone, fast food and going to the convenience store cost us right at $7,000 for the year. Is that a lot? It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. These products here for the year are going to cost us around $600. This product is going to cost me $1,200 a year. And these probably a total of right at $100 a year. So for all that, I can get healthy, stay healthy. It's going to give me more energy to do my workouts. It's going to give me more energy to go out and mow grass all day and not be as tired. So those are a few of the things. If you guys have any questions about them, where to get them, you know, mostly you can get these anywhere. We went to our grocery store. The only thing that we didn't get at the grocery store was the Omega Plex. They do have fish oils there that you can get. You don't have to use the Omega Plex. I used it because it's part of AdvoCare's system, but it really, really helps you. And uh, like I said, we're going to be doing all different types of videos and, um, Sarah has joined me in this, right? And you've yeah. lost two pounds in the last week. Uh, I think so. Yep. I don't necessarily look at my weight. I check on how I feel. Yeah, she basically goes off how she feels. I'm worried more about my weight because with excess weight comes excess cholesterol. So I hope this helps you. If you guys have other things that you use or that you do um, for your body to get yourself in shape, let me know because I, I do know apple cider vinegar with mothers and it is extremely good for you. Uh, that's something I'll probably be adding here within the next week to my diet. But I got to tell you, you would, you would sit there and say, a lot of people will say, how do you have any energy? Um, I know a guy that has this type of diet, and I always asked him that. But believe me, you've got more energy than you could imagine by not eating all those carbs and all that. The sugar, horrible for you. The sugars. You've got to get the false sugars out. So, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. As always... Dr. Real was in the house. Keep it real. Take care of your health, guys. You've only got one life, and you've only got one body, so take care of it. I'm out of here. Peace.